The internet has exploded in the last decade and more businesses are establishing online presence than ever before. With online competition at all-time high, a well-designed website is no more a luxury. It's a necessity. This surge in demand for high quality websites create a fantastic opportunity for creative types. If you have a passion for design and a knack for making web pages functional and aesthetically pleasing, then a web design business could be a perfect fit. So in this video, we are going to explain you how you can start a web design business so you can be your own boss leverage your unique skill set and help companies thrive online. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the TV page builder. Now before we proceed, I would like to mention that all the links, resources and plugins that we are going to use or recommend in this video, we have added the links to all of them in the video description below. So if you want to check out details about any one of them, you can go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. And some of the links might be our affiliate links. So if you use those links to make your purchase, we might earn a little bit of kickback, which is not going to cost you anything extra, but it's definitely going to help us create more helpful and free content just for you. And if you want to read about each and every step that we are going to cover in this video, we have created a complete blog post that you can follow. So if you want to follow along and read the blog post, we are going to leave a link for that in the video description below. When starting your own web design business, it takes time to get things rolling. Aside from developing your skills and expertise, there are several steps you must take. On the front end, you need to conduct research to determine your target audience, define the type of services you plan to offer, market yourself, and nurture your young business so it can grow. And as you walk through these steps together, you will better understand what you need and what it will take to thrive. Now, before even thinking to start a web design business, you want to build a strong foundation in some key areas like UI UX design, visual design principles, and gaining familiarity with softwares like Adobe Creative Cloud. Along with UI UX, have a strong grasp on visual design principle and color theory, typography, and layout is also essential. Along with that, you need to make sure that you learn to use a good prototyping tool like Figma and manipulate photos in tools like Photoshop or maybe using tool like Adobe Illustrator if you are into vector graphics. Now, in order to learn all these essential skills, you need to equip yourself with the right tools, which are essential for improving your workflow and delivering beautiful websites to your clients. And here are some of the most essential tools that you should definitely consider. For those starting a web design business from scratch, WordPress is going to be your best bet. And that's mostly because you don't have to touch a line of code to create a complete website. And what's more, nearly half of the internet's website are built on this platform only. It is an incredible user-friendly platform that has tons of third-party support and you will find tutorials for literally everything that you want to learn about WordPress. Now to unlock the full potential of WordPress, it's necessary to add a feature-rich WordPress theme like Divi. Divi is a powerful and versatile page builder with a drag-and-drop interface. It offers a wide range of pre-designed templates and modules, making it super easy to create visually stunning and highly customizable websites without any knowledge of coding. Divi is known for its user interface and extensive design options, including animations, custom CSS, and global elements. And along with that, you can use Divi AI to create some amazing looking web pages in just a few seconds. And not just web pages, you will be able to generate some amazing looking images as well as content using Divi AI for your WordPress website. Now, once you have honored your web design skills, you'll want to create portfolio showcasing your design talent and attract potential clients. Now, creating a personal portfolio website to show off your skills is essential part of the process. It showcases your work, instill confidence in potential clients and let people preview your design style. So while building your portfolio, make sure you include projects that cater to different industries and aesthetics. It's a good way to demonstrate your versatility and ability to adapt to needs of various clients. 
Now with your design portfolio up and running, there are few things you need to consider while planning your web design business. You need to identify your target audience and then determine what services you are going to offer. And after that, you need to set up a sole proprietorship, LLC or something similar. Now, this is not a legal advice. So make sure you consult your legal advisor or attorney in your local area. Before diving head straight into building websites, it's a good idea to take a step back and identify your target audience. Doing so will help you represent your services to the right people which you wish to target. And that's also useful for developing marketing strategies and establishing a unique brand identity. And lastly, make sure you utilize the social media channels to showcase your design work and share industry insights and connect with your potential clients. Try engaging with other creative and participate in relevant online communities and actively promote your services. And as a Divi user, you can also apply to become a creator on Divi Marketplace, which holds an incredible income potential. You can create child themes, layouts and other products to use with Divi and get paid for it. If you want to learn more about the process, we are going to leave a link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, make sure you check out the link in the description to learn more about it. Now in the early days, in order to get business, you can also create accounts on platforms like Upwork, Fiverr and other freelancing platforms to get your first few projects. This will expand your reach and allow you to build client feedback and market yourself to the wider audience. And it's also a great way to highlight your web design skills, showcase relevant experience and reach your target audience easily. Now this might result in getting small paying gigs, but this is usually necessary to build your reviews, ratings and network with new clients. And sometimes these smaller clients will become ongoing partnerships, allowing you to build your client base in multiple areas, as long as you deliver high quality work and meet deadlines consistently. Now, another important aspect of marketing yourself is by determining what to charge for your web design clients. Start by researching the ongoing rates for web design services in your area. Additionally, when researching rates, make sure to take your level of expertise into account. For example, a front-end web designer will likely charge less than a full-stack web developer. With that said, it's important to remember that you aren't just selling your time, you are selling your skills and expertise. Factor in the value you are providing your clients when determining your rates. Running a successful design business depends on charging the right amount for your services. Charge too little and it affects your bottom line and charge too much, you risk losing potential clients. So make sure you set your rate wisely depending upon what kind of skills and expertise you are offering to what kind of clients. A successful web design business relies on more than marketing and exceptional creative skills. To launch a successful business, you must also have clear communication, effective project management and a relentless focus on satisfying your clients. So in the end, I would like to mention that web design business creates a fantastic opportunity for creative and tech savvy people to build a thriving and rewarding career. From honoring your design skills to attracting new clients, I hope this video has given you all the information you need to start your business and proceed to the great success. And remember, success requires requires dedication and continuous learning and patience. Starting any new business is a time-consuming endeavor that won't be fruitful overnight. So take your time in learning all the desired skills and start working on creating your first website using WordPress and Divi. And I'm sure with all your hard work and dedication, you will have a thriving web design business in no time. So if you found this video helpful, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.